In today's video, man, I wanna talk to all the men out there that come across this because there has to be a disconnect for some brothers that wanna have all this sex but don't understand the responsibility aspect of it. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Food episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, the word says if a man does not provide for his own family, especially, especially those of his own household, he is worse than an infidel and has denied the faith. You know, there's a lot of men out there on the back of these disgruntled women that have simply laid down with women when they should have just let these women go on with their lives. But there's men out there that have fulfilled the lust of their flesh so bad to where they just go around impregnating women and, uh, you know, you don't even have the means, you know, to raise a child. And when we think about it, sex was not only a fulfillment of the flesh in marriage, but there's a responsibility. Sex is a reproductive activity. And men, you have to think the biggest responsibility and burden is on you because you carry the seed. Man, you don't know how many men out there that play games like they don't try to uh, work a job because they don't want child support coming after them. Meanwhile, they're not doing anything to provide for the kids anyways. But yet, you know, if we, if, if we follow and, and look deeper into your life, you always trying to uh, persuade these women that you the one so you can get in their pants. And then when we think about it, I've done a video, man, seven out of seven out of uh, 10 women have kids at the age of 25 and older, you know, and you as a man, you know, there's a behind every pregnant woman, there is a man and, you know, men out here, if you're partaking in risky activity, one night stands and you don't never see this woman again and you never heard from her. No, the onus is on you where you plant your seeds. I'm talking about we got men out here raw dogging these women on one night stands. And then your excuse is, well, uh, she never reached out to me. Like, are you that uh, reprobate and dysfunctional as a man? We got men out here, and, and I'm not saying this to be, uh, to be mean or, you know, but it's gonna sound abrasive. Right now in these times, we got men that are barely staying afloat themselves, can't afford to have sex. We got women out here that are, you know, having all of this sex and they are mentally unstable. They can't afford to bring anybody else into this world and be responsible for it. You know, men, you gotta, when I look at, you know, shows like Kendra G, Man, I saw a guy on there by the name of Zoe Pappy was on there looking for women and he said he wanted to be a hoe with his pregnant girlfriend sitting on the show. Like, there is some people out there that's got reprobate minds. They don't have discernment. They don't have common sense. These are the people that don't need to be having sex. You got men out there where these men, women is looking at them like these men is fine. You know, these men is attractive and he got swagger, but that man don't know whether he's coming or going. That man cannot add any value to your life. You know, men, you have to, you have to think, when you lay down and have sex with a woman and life is brought forth, you don't get no time, no grace period to learn how to be no provider and protector. 
you 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 are immediately accountable and responsible for that woman and that child. You got to understand, man, like if I just plant as an agricultural, you know, people, if I just go plant a whole bunch of seeds and leave them untamed, they're going to be pretty wild looking. So in order to bear much fruit, you prune the vine. You constantly check on it. See what it needs. That's just the basics. But as a man, you know, it, it, it's bad when women, you know, just like men do sometimes and put women all under the same umbrella when all women don't deserve that. But it's bad, man, when you got men that want to have all this sex, want, uh, you know, want the freakiest sex, and is out here having a whole lot of it, and on the back end, you got all these, these these kids that's, you can tell ain't nobody pouring into them because the man chose to lay down with a mentally or spiritually retarded woman because he's mentally and spiritually retarded. You gotta think, man, a lot of, a lot of our taxpaying dollars go to support men that choose sorry women and these sorry women let these sorry men bust all up in them. That's where the taxpaying dollars goes a lot of times when we look at the allocation of funds. I'm telling you, man, let me give you an example. If you're a man over 18 and you're engaged in sexual activity and if the woman you were talking to told you she was pregnant all of a sudden, and your first response is, I don't know how I'm gonna afford this and I'm not ready for all that, that's a clear indication you don't need to be having sex. And this is simply serving as a message, hoping you get it because you might get this message, go against it, and then it's gonna be painful for you. It's gonna be painful for you. You're gonna have baby mama drama. You're gonna have that mindset to where, oh man, she don't want me to have nothing, she don't want me to win. No, you didn't want you to win because of your ignorance. You know? I feel bad for some of these women for the caliber of men that don't have the basic level of discipline. And these women are are are, are stuck at the stuck with carrying your child, and it's like you ain't you ain't worth a damn. And it doesn't, it doesn't take much. As a man, you don't have to be, uh, uh, make $300,000 a year. You don't have to, it, it, I'm not asking all that. What I'm telling you to do, you need to have a sense of responsibility and accountability about yourself as a man before you start having sex. We got a lot of entitled men. You know, there's women out there that have had babies by men that think that they so fine that they don't have to work. That's the man I'm talking to. You got these women uh, uh, punching in and punching out, working shifts, putting in a lot of hours because you trying to chase your dreams as a man. You out of your damn mind. You are out of your mind. And this is Oftentimes, when it, when a lot of this dysfunction, uh, you know, is put forth on the internet, oftentimes we don't get to see both parties. We only get to see one side of it. And I'll tell you that behind some of these women, in the way that they articulate themselves, that is your fault as a man if you lay down and plant a seed in a woman like that, in a woman that's illiterate, in a woman that doesn't know how to uh, manage her priorities. That's your fault as a man. You, I like, when we look at these statistics, you know, uh, of single mother households having some of the worst statistics, these women ain't, and, and all these women ain't impregnating themselves. There's a brother somewhere sliding in, busting them down. The onus is not only on them, and a lot of men you know, you uh, 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 unless somebody calls you out, you fly under the radar. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you got two, three baby mamas and your life is already dysfunctional and chaotic, 
How about you say, you know what? Let me let me stop having all this sex. Let me deny my flesh and let me just handle my responsibilities. I, I feel bad, man, because some of these women are, are struggling to get $100 a month out of you to take care of a child. And they can't even get that. Like, that must suck for a woman to be impregnated by you as a man. And you was talking a good game. You was doing a good job at uh, embellishing. But when, it, when, it, when it's time to show up, which is the motto of the state of Missouri, show me, show up, show us. You don't live up to the hype. You don't live up to the hype. And where there, where there is a man like this that chooses a woman that's not yet ready for marriage, but because he wants to fulfill the lust of his flesh and she is not ripened yet, ready for marriage, now you got a child growing up in this mess, growing up out of balance. A lot of these kids, a lot of these kids do not ask for the dysfunction and the BS that they have to go through. You know, they don't ask for that. You know, to the men out there that, that, that if that shoe fits, man, you need to wear that because the level of cooperation, the level of discernment, the level of understanding you need in these last days to survive as a man, you're not going to get it from the world. No, none of these celebrities and none of these uh, uh, male black icons, they ain't going to tell you this. They're not finna tell you this. You know, I hear so many people getting out here giving carnal wisdom and they're promoting not only fornication, but they're promoting bust these, bust these women down and have a rotation and, you know, just use them for sex. And on the back end of that, man, these women is bringing forth kids. Man, the most high you no matter how much wisdom you say you got as a man, no matter how fine you say you are as a man, the most high you is, is, is taking record of it all. Taking record of it all. And you got, you know, uh, uh, men that like to have all this sex be the first one to be like, I, I, I want a paternity test. You just hoping for that, that, that possibility that you didn't, out of, out of all them hundred times you didn't busted it open, that it ain't yours. And you didn't, you just use this woman for a sperm receptor. I'm not saying there ain't nothing wrong with getting a paternity test, but damn, once you find out it's yours, wh wh why all the excuses? Why are these women have to uh, fight with you for you to be a provider and you pump and beat your chest that you a man? A lot of y'all, a, a lot of men out here that I'm talking to, man, are entitled. You was raised up, you know, and, and raised up to be uh, feminine, you know. Probably didn't have a father around, but you're going to learn the hard way. You're going to learn the hard way. I told you, man, you got men out there uh, ducking good jobs because they don't want to take care of their kids. And the child support don't be nothing but like, uh, 200, 200, 300 dollars and you 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 ducking work. You know, it's hard out here. I, I can't get no work, man. You know, she on my neck for that child support, that back child support. A lot of these brothers don't even, it ain't even that much that these women is asking. It's not no absorbing amount of money. I'm telling you, man, the best thing you can do as a man, if you don't have two pieces of bread and, 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 and a piece of sandwich meat that's put together for a while, you don't need to be having no sex. You're in a bad position. You're in a bad position. You know, if you don't know how to lead, you know, if you don't know the basics about being a protector and leadership, uh, being a provider, man, you don't need to be having no sex. Close to the Y'all Ministries kicking it, gun barrel straight. Bow.